Ask them, and they, they say they so, want to collaborate. So, they won't so, collaborate. so, they, 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 cause there's no cameras in the courtroom or the, fe the federal courtroom. Correct. This was all on the, um, so, this was all on like the, uh, when the officers are speaking like press conference. Got it. Wow. Oh, it's deep. Shit. It started at like 10 o'clock this morning. And but wow. my concern is, is is the how is this going to affect other people like in Don Richards um her she talks about how she was at dinner one time and who I know she said Jay-Z and a couple other big names was there and they all watched Diddy punch Cassie dead in her stomach huh. and nobody did nothing them niggas just kept cutting their steak like more and more of those stories are going to come out and whether they were like directly involved doing these same things nigga y'all just kept eating the fucking sea bone ain't nobody even walk away nothing we talking about we talking about billionaires because you said uh, Diddy was a millionaire earlier, but I think that nigga got a B, don't he? Like we talking about billionaires, motherfuckers, a lot of money. This we all know this word is about who you know, and once you get know who you know, you are gonna get away with whatever. But now, like I said, with the um with the executive stepping down, I think that it's a real trickle down effect finna. I'm gonna rock the music industry. I don't think the executives are stepping down because of all of these like nasty stories coming out. I think they're stepping down because of the monopoly that's happening in television and music. There's probably going to eventually only be two or three companies running everything, and they're all buying into those two companies so they can have a part in the money. All this shit is not going to affect everybody. It's going to affect the three big faces that they want the world to think are these nasty, terrible men, and the hundreds of other people involved will keep making millions and millions of dollars off of us. Yeah, this private equity shit is moving up. Wow. Yo, web ball, yes, you got your hand up. Diddy about the Nino Brown, this whole shit. And everybody who was sitting by watching is actually gonna get caught up because they mad that they let all them niggas go with that uh Jeffrey that R. Kelly shit. shit. Nah, not even. We don't, you know. White and brown don't work on the same playing field. But mad people got away when R. Kelly got got hit up. That's not gonna happen this time. That ain't gonna happen this time. What you mean? What you mean by that? What you mean mad people got away when R. Kelly <clears throat> all the assistants? Again, like you said, how they took the mom or everybody passport, because all y'all was again, y'all accessories. If you if if I'm raping the bitch and you holding her hair, you an accessory. I mean, yeah, but Diddy is a, is a at a larger magnitude. Like that's why I combined him with that Jeffrey yeah. Epstein shit. Cause when we go in, when you go in, like nah. I hate to bring Drake in it, but like when we was talking about bruh, when you going to bring bitches from over here and bring them over here, did he not big nah, Jeffrey Did he not bigger than R. Kelly? Jeffrey Did he not bigger than R. Kelly? Did he is nah, bigger he than R. Kelly, Island. bro? You tweak. Did he uh, and okay, let me he explain. got more he got more I'm money. talking about he got more, he got Did he more, made uh, R. Kelly made them white boys way more money than Diddy ever did. But Diddy is ever. independent. What is artist R. Kelly put That's on? The... Diddy is a billionaire. R. Who R. R. Kelly wrote every jazz. love song. R. R. Kelly wrote. R. Kelly could write, could write, meant to, can write anything he wants to. He ain't got the money. That's R. Kelly got the niggas in jail. Turn. Everybody That's why he in jail singing right now. Tank. He ain't got no money. We talking about a man who could. I don't even want to say this, but from what they said, he was could be he could have been going to countries bringing young women back over, young women and men back over here for freak outs. Like that's on the same shit that having a damn island and running this, like running a business through the island. Like that is some serious out of this world shit. Like I, so, I couldn't even see them being on what they are with with uh r kelly like they are with diddy what's the what's the what's the rule on that like are you not allowed to fly somebody in that you are engaging i don't understand what no that, like, you're not really you're not flip because only thing like only i feel like the only difference is it's a phone call like so somebody can, you can I, be like, I'm fine. i think there's a lot hand. of difference between the two and just, hold on, wait, just... So, wait hold on hold on hold on hold on let me get my thought out real quick before so if I'm messing with a girl in, in Miami and I want to fly her to New York 
and she gets on a plane, I fly her there. Willingly, she willingly gets on the plane. That's 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 not what we're talking about. They're saying that he coerced women and forced them to fly. I guess un, you know against their will. Is that is that the that's charge? what they saying? But like it could be the same as yeah. Your will don't matter if you yeah. are a hostage. If, if you're, of, if you're being, that, hey, if you're a sex worker, you're being sex trafficked. Yo, it ain't, it ain't talking about you. It ain't your will don't matter. Just I like everything if I stand in front of the, the hold on, hold on. If I stand in front oh, of the okay. door and say you can't leave, you you a hostage now. All I gotta do is stand in front of the door and tell you I'm you can't leave. I'm gonna say, if I, I think if I pick you up, the biggest if I pick you up and walk you ten feet from where you was and hold you, you have been kidnapped. Yeah, that's true. You understand what I'm saying? So again, you putting Got people it. on planes. Who? You know what I mean? Jets that little girl might be shit. fifteen. Ahead, she can't, can't consent. The ticket. They go and you talking about people who can't consent? You don't. They don't have the. Got you it. can't consent. But then it said young girls are being sexual. That's what they say. Nah, the they ain't say that. That's the thing, too. Like, they, that's, back to, that's back to flip point more so about, like, the will. You know what I'm saying? But everything in this case is obviously against will. You know what I mean? So It sounds willing it. at first, like, it. the sex workers, they're being hired, but then they're bringing to these parties, forced to take the drugs, unable to leave. And then when you get there, you have to sign all these legal documents with R. Kelly. Like, yeah, yes, it's right. wrong, but I think he was taking advantage of young, fast girls. That nigga was going up the streets to high schools in Chicago. So he wasn't, like, orchestrating whole teams to fly people across the country. He didn't have post freak off houses. He wasn't keeping tracks with motherfuckers, like, hospital records, still nasty, oh, no, no, no. still wrong. Agreed. But it's just, Agreed. it's just completely two different lanes Agreed. of people. Oh, you, and you, I you. feel so many people didn't get in trouble with R. Kelly because he was selfishly doing it. He was like, a, he's a bear, he can't read, he can't write, he's fucking 12 in the brain, he can't do shit, he's a freak, and he needs, he likes young girls. People he were really, helping him get young really girls, but help. I feel like there was a lot of more powerful people doing way worse stuff and doing more where they're like, let's just throw this all on him. Not gonna lie, y'all can judge me for it, but I personally believe he did not hog tie them bitches, bro. I he don't, don't look like <laughs> Oh, no, nah, he definitely tied them bitches up. You talking about R. Kelly? He, he, oh, no, nah, he definitely tied them bitches up. Like Kells did all that shit. Another, y'all bugging up. I wanted to ask a question. Do we, two questions, actually. It's two-part question. Do we know where the freak-off houses were and I'm asking this question because if you guys remember back in during the pandemic, California released um a bill like um CB or CB 24 some shit where if you were you allowed to mess with a child if the parent is OK with it, some, some weird shit like that. Um, it's multiple different hotels from this last article I read, but when you listen to people's stories, it sounded like they will be in his houses. I think like normal events would eventually turn into freak off like he had right. a whole team of people to to find these places it was never the same place okay it just I'm asking for question. everybody to leave i was asking that question on based off of like on based off of trying to figure out what would diddy's fighting angle be on some on such, such shit like that knowing that california has came up with a bill such as what they did and not and i don't know what the age of the statute of limitations is in, in new york or wherever the hell that these freak outs happen so that was why i was asking the question Well, if news comes out saying that, you know, a lot of these women were being drugged or being spiked. I mean, the feds know, you know, the mean, feds know where the freak off is at. That's for sure. They was the watching. The feds are undefeated, G. It's a real. Nah, for real. But the news is already out. Oh, nah, People should just read. There's so yeah. many. Right now, there's three documents. There's the one from Don Richards. There's Cassie. There's the one that just came out today. There's the one from the producer. Like, you can read it. You can see pictures. You can see conversations of other people, conversation from doctors, police officers. But, there's more than enough evidence and stories that make this, like, not a conspiracy. Like, like I don't know. At all. Like, hey, like Flip, it's too and much. If from, Flip can put and if you're from the uh, tri-state, Flip and if you're from the tri-state, you know for a fact, and especially if you have a certain age, it's been whispers about the wild shit they have been on. 90s. Since the I was going to say, like, I'm 27, and essentially, you, right? I'm going to tell, there's no way I should know that Diddy is a freak. He's outside of my age group, my tax bracket, and my motherfucking neighborhood. How do I know nah, this? It has to be some kind of truth to it. Where the fuck is this shit. Girl, And Mace ain't disappeared for no reason. Mace was one of the best rappers, period. And just said, nah, I'm good. He went to the church after that. 
No, I need. No, I'm good. Yeah, and Mace probably. Other people Mace. Like the woman who, who said for years oh, she's been okay, saying that it. she's watched Diddy shoot her in the face in that nightclub, and everybody yeah, yeah. ignored it. Like you know, like there's too Facts. much. It's too, too, too Facts. much. Y'all remember that oh, video of Fabulous God. shaking in his boots at the podcast when but Diddy was asking why you don't want to party with me? Yeah. You know how scary yeah. you got to be yeah. to make another grown yeah. man and tell bro. I ain't gonna front. No. I ain't never seen that like that. I think Fab seen some shit. I felt wet. Like. Did you did you drink drink like, Pepsi, bro? He was scared as fuck. Where this boy? That nigga smooth put his head down like, nah, come on, did he don't do this to me now? Come on, no pressure now. That's not, but again, wild. again, if you from the tri-state, I ain't there's a few niggas who talk like that. Bro, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know yeah, about the press. Is, but if you from the hood, no just think of, bro, think of the, hold on, think of the angle of why <laughs> Meek Mill is famous, bro. This is a street nigga we talking about. This is a street, this is, he. This everything been street since we seen, no nigga call you that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gonna have to have a talk about this show, these street niggas. I like a real life talk about this shit, because... I'm not gonna lie, I always used to think that was a New York thing because the first time in hip hop music I heard another grown man call a grown man daddy was on the poppin' remix with Lil Wayne and Jewel Santana before it come on Lil Wayne, like Chris Breezy, I see you, daddy. Y'all ever heard that? Yeah, the I was raised at him too. <laughs> that shit stuck with you. you know, my uncle said I swear to God, I ain't never heard no shit like that before. I'm like, it must be normal. I like both these niggas. They ain't gay, hell no. Mm mm. My <laughs> uncle had said some shit during the um Super Bowl about you know my uncle white old nigga said some shit about Usher and Diddy. I laughed this shit out. Oh, you didn't see that video with the? Uh, I never, I know, I hell, I never, I never seen nothing. But my uncle said this shit like way before like documents came out. Like he was joking, like was some jokingly shit. And then like we started hearing. Oh, no. The video, like, we can't do anybody. His security, any guard, his security guard did a whole interview. I want to say it was Vlad about Diddy's experience with it. And then they talk about Diddy's flavor camp. About, like, I don't know about any sexual abuse towards Usher, but to me, sexual abuse is if you're over like 25 and you're hanging out with a 15, 16 year old, making him watch you have orgies, trying to force what? him to have sex with strippers and shit. That's sexual abuse. And then hey, fast forward hey. to years later, he did it with Justin Bieber talking about he's going to do go. everything a 15 year old boy would like to do for three that. days. And God, then damn. if you got, there's a lot of jokes and like parodies about like, have you, I can't think of it where I guess supposedly Justin Bieber, it was somewhere for a long time getting abused. I heard that they got beat with mattresses and whatever, you know, that's yep, internet shit. That. But there's that white comedian how that you has get a beat whole with a mattress. T- he has a whole cop because it doesn't leave bruises. It hurts you. You'll, you'll be fucked a mattress? up. It might break. Yeah, but it won't leave bruises on you. It's so like, you pick whatever. up a whole mattress and hit somebody with it? If they're like in a ditch or something. I don't, I'm not there, nigga. I don't know. That's besides the point. Yo, that but there's, a comedy, there's a comedy oh, skit on, on Comedy Central of, of like this white comedian that used to make parody oh. songs that is about that, about Justin Bieber getting abused. <laughs> like the, it's a parody of Justin Bieber talking about all this abuse he went through. Everybody I mean, needs to call Wendy and apologize. I mean, Wendy if anything, Williams been saying this shit since 9 Nah, far. nah see, we should just go back to the clip of Diddy. Asking Justin Bieber, like, yo, why you on, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that man, nah, yo, yeah, that, that was yeah, that was creepy. Bro. That was that was creepy as fuck back then. Have and y'all the seen the any of Justin thing? Bieber's parents' video saying like they're so happy that you know things are gonna come to the light? They're not saying nothing. They just dumping their Bibles, saying they're happy, they're happy, they're happy. This shit about to be the Nickelodeon shit all over again. Bro, I don't, I don't only Diddy was on the set you. of all of that with a little nigga with dicks on his shoulder in a superhero costume. It's all the same what? thing. You, you, did you watch the documentary? Diddy was on an episode of all of that, and then in the clip he was in, he was laying in a beach chair while these two little boys was doing something with some white shit all over their face. Some weird shit. Like, this he was there. It's, it's like I it's know all exactly connected. what she's talking about. And the, and the, first, and the Yo, first thing the that came fuck? out came out in, like, 2015. One of the white girls, she was a character in, what's that um, Superman TV show, Smallville? She was a character in Smallville, and she got indicted for having a cult. It was a whole bunch of Roman numbers that was sex trafficking kids. And the next thing that came out was Epstein. And the next thing was R. Kelly, then this, then this, then this. It's all connected. It's what they do in Hollywood. Yeah, hey, and then you see live videos of Drake on live with Diddy talking about going to your party and inspired me to have parties of my own. Fast forward to 2024. What the fuck at these parties inspired you, 69 guy? Hey, Let me know. Preach. What preach. happened? Hey, Tally. Hey, I'm, I'm finna get out this space, but I just, before I leave, I just gotta say, bro, I don't know if y'all talked about this yet, but uh, I was, bro, I've only used 
probably three bottles of baby oil in my life, bro. A thousand of them bitches is Nigga, I fucking insane, bro. That's like, bro, just, oh my God, I'm out of here. That's some bruise. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah, I wasn't trying to make that shit a joke, Tali, but goddamn, a thousand bottles of motherfucking baby oil? Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, that's a 69 God, for real. I think, I think. Nah, yeah, this shit wicked. It made me think about Brooklyn and the, the Jewish synagogues and the tunnels. Yo, could you imagine being in your kitchen eating dinner and you hear some shit in your, under your floors and shit knowing you don't got no basement? Well, what's crazy is that no one talks about it. Why were there twin size mattresses with blood on there? Why was there high chairs? Why was yeah. it connected to places where kids frequent? Why did nothing? Why isn't nobody talking about this? This was not people needing a secret place to go pray. Like, oh man. Hold on, I missed the part. I missed the part. Miss the part. Well, you about to get us boomed in real life. Oh, so, I'll be quiet. So we found in 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 Brooklyn near like kind of Hasidic Hasidic synagogues, we found tunnels like going connecting through through Brooklyn and they were actually kind of close to to Je Jeffrey Epstein's primary residence too but that's a whole nother story but yeah. weren't they connect don't they like connect to the children's museum or something or it's like it's like a whole tunnel I was reading the whole thing about it and then a lot of the information you can only find it on like Jewish news sites that aren't even American anymore and then when I was reading it the only article I could find I think it was on the New York Post was about how a rabbi was sentenced to only like five years in jail after he raped I think 13 boys and the boys were saying stuff like it gives them nightmares now and then he tried to flee to another country and tried to sue them or something because they said he couldn't come over there for a year I'm like you molested 13 boys only had to go to jail for 13 three, three years however long and then you're mad because you're banned from a country for only one year like why doesn't this get publicized to all americans and why is it like so lenient on the crime like the what's the word i'm looking for the repercussion uh because america is in bed with israel point blank period oh he yeah, went we there talk about we can talk oh he about, went uh, there americans sending our, our uh our government officials over there through the church paying for this shit through a church. So, well, what's that? As a matter of fact, the 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 biggest the I forgot the name of the it's a Christian, which is crazy because it's a Christian American Christian group that is the Israel's biggest. Like this nigga doing, they be they talking like to they don't Yahoo know. and you know what I mean. They be giving niggas millions and millions, like mm -hmm. they're the same motherfuckers yeah. who be paying for our senators and shit to go over. That's a fact. These places and be preaching death on gays and all these propagandas and shit. Like I've been That's trying to take a trip to C Street and flip. You should do this shit. I heard that it's an apartment building on C Street in Washington D.C. that all a, a whole lot of officials stay in. And you know, in the government, you are not supposed to do that. But that they're housed through a church. Um, I, I was watching that shit on um. It's, it was this uh, documentary called the family and i was watching and they, and they was telling about that doesn't washington dc have their own law jurisdiction though they don't follow the same law that's the rest of the country no nah, it's, it's federal everything federal yeah so when you talk there's about no, there's no and, municipality uh, or everything yeah. federal so when you see a judge you gotta see a federal judge that's why anybody who, you go to jail in dc you go to you go to the feds, the feds. Yeah. Even if I was like boosting in Lulu Melon or something, yeah, you going your ass going to the feds. Oh, <laughs> it's like create uh, committing a crime on an army base type shit, or, or you know what I mean? It's can't do that. And that's what made me think something more is gonna come from this Diddy situation. Like more he about names. to Nino, he about to Nino Brown this whole shit. Watch. Diddy about to tell on everybody. Everybody. Can I ask He's a question? Listen, it, it, I'm just shooting at a blank. I'm just shooting a raw blank here. Y'all think Michael Rubin is innocent or anything? Oh, he Do you see those door. pictures? He, what? He's he the leader. He's, I don't, he's, I, he's I, the top. He's going to get hit with the Rico. That nigga is the final fucking boss. I know it. I can see it. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be honest. Looking his eye for sure. I yeah, personally. Man, street nigga. Bunny hop. Don't talk about yeah, man. man, that nigga wiped little baby off his fucking feet. Don't trust him. 
Culture Vulture. Like, Another one of y'all street niggas. Nah, but y'all don't. But that's the music industry, though. And, and that's, the, that's the fucked up part about it is that. And I think that's what's cool about technology. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's, it takes a lot of the business out of the music business. You know what I mean? You don't need all these niggas to cut a record to get it moved around and all that. But back when you needed them, you had to suck a little dick. Again, the locks. Jada said it. I'm stuck with when I'm stuck with. Cause I don't suck dick. Even Diddy, Diddy sucked Claude Davis's dick. It was Claude Davis who put him on. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't put. Him. <laughs> hey man, I know, That's I know. Family. I wanted to be, a, I wanted family. to be a rapper bad until, until I started trying right, to really hey, be hey, a rapper. Hey, hey, I, I, I go now. Hey, I put the phone down. I put the phone down. This is what y'all niggas told my man. What's wrong with y'all niggas, man? The industry on some wild ass shit. Flip, man. This nigga, this shit been going nah, on since the 90s. Since the 90s. All right, hold on, y'all. Everybody calm down, man. Let's calm down. We're talking about a culture that has been underground in the right, rap I, industry. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody relax. Damn, that niggas went. But I asked the question, uh, Flip. You think Michael Rubin uh innocent? No, nah, I, 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 nigga, I talk about that on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I say for podcast. Who is this? Uh, what you might call it, Elias? Flip, what you doing if you find Joe Budden on the tapes, on the P Diddy tapes? What you doing after that? If I find Joe Budden on the P Diddy tapes? Yeah, you still gonna work for Joe B, JBP or what? Yes. <laughs> nah, I said some shit. I met Joe. That nigga had more lube than Joe. That's crazy. Hey, yo, I'm going to keep it real. We're not talking about Joe up here. We don't do that. I came that nigga down. Don't start bringing up Joe. I'm not, I'm not on the shit that he be on with. He allowed niggas to get shit off. Nah, 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 nah. I'm talking about my man up here. Please. Not no disparaging way. Don't don't tag, don't, don't try to add him to no salacious things that's going on. I'm not with that. Not me. That's it, man. Y'all can ask him that when he come on live. Anyway. Wow. It's a lot, man. Can't wait to see what happens Friday. Can't wait to see what happens Friday. This is this is a lot. This is a lot. I can't believe it. You know, I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna read it. Thank you for putting me on because it denied that nigga bail. Please read all so of them picture? because I feel like you have to read all of them to see like how it all coincides and all the different stories. And it helps you like because you don't want to believe all these things about someone you savored for so long of your life, at least me personally. But it just makes it like easy to believe. I like to read the facts. Okay. And you said it's real documents? Yeah, the one I put is a real document. I can't find the little raw one. It's probably saved somewhere in my phone, but I read that one. There's the Don Richards documents, there's the Cassie documents. And then you can even go watch fucking Aubrey O'Day podcast interviews. People been saying shit for a long time. Kid Cuddy said he wasn't lying about getting his car set on fire, man. <laughs> Well, I ain't never say whether he got dangled off the balcony or not, but I wouldn't talk about that either. But Flip, uh, being from you, you from the sound too, like Diddy, like, a real gangster. I know you heard the rumors in the nineties, Flip. I know I did. Every Halloween, I, I, I'll be I, I, so I, terrified I, seeing I, this nigga I, walk around like the Joker, and he really yeah, act like yeah, that in that real life. Crazy, what the fuck? Yo, Diddy got Wendy Williams fired from the radio because she brought that shit up back in 94 or 5, some shit like that. Or nah, I might have been like 6 or 7, don't matter. Again, Wendy been saying that shit forever. Wow. But legit, he got, he got that bitch fired. So, so what happens next? So, y'all said he put his mom house up instead of his? Honestly, he might not got no house to put up. You know what I'm saying? If they they might have seized that, they might have locked everything down. He don't got no house to put up no more. Nah, chill. He got bread. He got bread stashed away somewhere. He has to. Yeah, but you can't use your money. You can't use your money. 
Yeah, with the yeah, but that, uh, mm, depends because no, it, yes, it, it do depend. With, it do depend, but it depends. They not. The, they definitely not gonna let him just put. He got if you, five you, houses. If you, if you, if, he got five houses. They just gonna got, let him put one up. Nah. If the if the crime you did, um, if the crime you did made you money, then you can't use your money. And, and I, I, I mean, I'm sure the argue, the the lawyer's gonna, the prosecutor's gonna argue that it did. <clears throat> you use your power to to uh, uh, extort people and and gain more influence. Shit, it's been that nigga mo the whole career, his whole career, starve his artists, so now they need him. You got to think the value of the information this man has must be a lot. What? The, the proposed um, package was was a $50 million bond co-signed by Sean Combs, his mother, his sister, the mother of his oldest daughter, and his three adult sons, secured by the equity in Mr. Combs' residence located in Miami, Florida, um, a house that's about $48 million, and um, a house he was staying at in August, and the remaining mortgage of $18 million had to be paid off so he could use, um, so he can be free of mortgage while he's on bond. They secured the equities of his mother's home in Miami, Florida. He was restricted to Florida, Florida and Southern New York to go to court. Um, his passport was surrendered in April, and then the passport of Janice Combs, Chance Combs, Jesse Combs, Delilah Combs, and Love Combs. So that's the twins, baby girl, the other girl, and I don't know who Janice Combs is. Oh, yeah, they about to bring all them niggas in. Everybody getting brought in the court. Everybody getting brought in the court. It's crazy. What's your money, man? How does that work? So if he does get found guilty, do they lose all these things? Nah. Only nah, if he pleads why he's going to court for the case. <clears throat> but one, they denied his bail, so it don't that stuff don't matter. Oh, true. That's for bail. Like, but if again, if you if you go to court, you get your money back. But if oh, they deny his bail, win, then right? don't, nah, you go to you you just gotta go to court. All bail uh, is gotta, to I make sure you, you go to your court dates. That's all bail is. Bail makes just make sure you go to court. Man, it's over for Diddy. That's it. Yeah, it's over. Well, I ain't. I mean, but, but, hey, man, you make your bed. When, when the when the when when when, when, when the feds had John Gotti, did he get bailed? Uh, I don't, didn't didn't Gotti get killed in jail? No, Gotti, Gotti died in jail. Yes, but I want to know if he got bail when the feds came. In he out. probably oh, did, and they probably still locked his ass up after. Nah, he nah, I know he did. Yeah, he, yeah, he did get bail because I remember, I remember when he was going to court. That's how it go. You could get bail once the feds got you. The feds got you, gangster. Nah, Gotti, was out on bail. Gotti was out on bail. Gotti beat the feds three times, though. Yeah, he did. But who won in the end, though? Tef- Teflon Dunn. But but they had they got Gotti on on tax evasion. It had nothing to do with the mob. Ain't paying taxes. There's no way Diddy's getting out of this. I'm telling y'all right now, there is no way. Oh no, nah. Diddy is coming out of this. No, nah, not a chance. But I, I'm very curious to see again who he take down with him. That's the thing. I, I hope he on. take down Ellen with him because and you know, who's, who's supplying him with all this shit? That's what they're going. Try but to I get mean, to. the the little rod one says that it's versus Shine Combs, Justin Dior Combs, Ethiopia can't pronounce her last name, Lucian Grange, Christina Karam, Charles Recording Studios, Love Records, Motown Records, Universal Music Group, Comb Global Enterprises, John and Jay Doe's one through ten, ABC Corporations one through ten. That's a lot of people. It sounds like it's the lawyer just throwing shit to see what'll stick. Well, in the Little Rise case, he was promised awards. He was promised houses. He was doing work in music groups. He was also um, sexually approached by people like Cuba Gooding Jr. and also other higher up people forced to have sex in front of and with prostitutes reading. It's a lot of stuff that I think if Motown Records gave him the money to put you in this apartment to write music and he's in the raping you, associated by, like, you know, it's by association, I guess. So all of them, shit. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I'd be mad to sell if you told me you was going to give me a million dollars to write songs all summer. I don't get shit. I ain't even let you hold my ass and shit. Yeah. Let's keep, chill. Yeah, let's keep right here. Hey, come on. All I learned from this situation yeah, yeah. is you don't want Diageo to be an op. It's crazy. Hold on. Everybody about to get exposed, man. Diddy's not the only one. Everybody quiet now? That did he still got that It's because Imani keep joining and leaving. We waiting on that single. We waiting on him to drop. It's so crazy, son. Anyway, y'all. Who's uh, Derek Carlo? Okay, go on. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. That was a fact. Yo, is anybody wondering, with all that money, why he didn't flee? I mean, not, not that I'm saying he should have fleed or whatever, but... Why didn't he get away? Uh, hubris, I believe, <laughs> is the term. Did Did he think he was above the law? Like, not above the law, but if you, if again, if 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 you if you think you're the baddest man on the planet for long enough, you you forget that there's no such thing. No, nah, but I got at some point. You can't be in a position of, of that man with all that money and people around you and not knowing that you got to get out of the U.S. Hey, man, I'm going to say it like this, bro. There's people in this life that you could run from, but you 